So, this individual. This individual right there, you know. You know her, you hate her. This person who thinks they have such an influence in the world. This person who thinks that their, you know, their words are basically on the level of God. If you believe such things. My cat has more influence than she does. Isn't that right, Roxas? Why won't you speak to me, Roxas? He's like, because, Grandpa, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, you're always, that's all you cats do, or just, just lay there. And then you poop, and then you eat, and then you sleep, and then you eat again, and then you sleep, and then you poop, and then sometimes you sleep while you poop. Real hard life. A hard life. Uh, but uh, Alyssa Mercanti, um, so she issued a cease and desist letter to, uh, what's his name, uh, Smash JT, because he said mean things about her, how she likes to, um, uh, nah, 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 for a living, which, whether it's true or not, really doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. But she's one of those people who sits surrounded by her, her gang of oh, burr, 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 burr. stunning and brave, stunning and brave. Oh, oh, oh. So she she can dish it out, but then she can't take it. Unless it's uh Um so actually let's just go to the article. Um so his lawyer basically said no no um that you know basically what he says is pretty much protected um yeah, it's his lawyer Saul Goodman um but the biggest thing for her is uh right here for this, uh, for these reasons and many others, your assertion that uh, Ms. Mercanti would prevail in if this matter were to uh, were taken to court is not only unfounded, but is transparently empty uh, is a transparently empty threat. In fact, as you are doubtless aware, if these claims were litigated in either New York or California, they would not only be dismissed, but your cl but it is your client who would be exposed to potential liability. Uh, under the anti slap laws in both states. Um, she comes out with, uh, I was hopeful that, you know, JT would take my letter as an opportunity to be more mature, which coming from her, that's freaking hilarious. This woman is anything but mature. This woman is the one who issued the fight to people and then backed out of it because people were actually accepting her challenge. She's like, fight me physically. And then anyone, uh, someone was like, has anyone accepted? And like, no, because they're all pussies. But then the minute someone accepts her challenge, nope, nope. It was Vera Dark and uh, Mara Jade, I believe, who accepted her challenge. And uh, she was like, oh, uh, no money, you know, just charity. And you don't stream, you know, and you're not able to stream for your bigot fans. So it was like, oh, well, I'll fight you, but on my conditions. But then she goes on to block people and because that's what she, she's a freaking coward, just like the rest of them. Um, to, to be more mature, but in the absence of his good sense, I will be pursuing legal remedies and have given my team permission to pursue those. Um, also, let's bring up these because, <laughs> oh, Oh, God. Hey, dear sirs. Here's a full letter sent by Ron to Alyssa's lawyer. He's like, we reject. We reject it. Um, so back, where are they? Yeah, there they are. There they is. Um... So the very beginning and the very end are actually pretty interesting and 
kind of says a lot about the professionalism of these people. Um, so basically they're saying about, oh, you, you said mean things and you need to apologize, but uh, publish an apology, the language of which we will suggest to you. So it's not a matter of him just going out and apologizing. They're going to tell him what to say. So it would be certainly written in a way to not only try to humiliate him, but also prop her up to make her seem like she's so amazing. So that's one thing that it's concerning. Um, but then it's this last part that's extremely unprofessional. And this makes you think that maybe these people aren't really legit or something. Um, Jeff, you are a family man yourself. Imagine you're a family in this situation. What would you want to happen? With a little empathy, with a little empathy, you can settle this fracas, and we can all move on with our lives. It's time you made the a smart choice for once. I don't see a professional writing something like that. Do the right thing. And that's when you see it and you're like, fuck you. Aha, fuck you. Um, because that's not professional at all. Saying, it's time you made the smart decision for once. Do the right thing. Um, so I chimed in with the, haven't you people ever heard of closing the guy thing now? Um, so I said, once she's get once she gets humiliated in court, because she's, she's going to continue with it. Um, I hope she just fucks off and leaves the internet for good. This woman is a massive fucking word, uh, who thinks she can get away with, uh, thinks she can get what she wants all the time. She acts tough, but is hurt by mean words. So, I mean, it, it's pretty much, that's what it boils down to. She's a freaking coward. You had two people issue a fight to her. You know, she was like, fight me physically. Oh, has anyone accepted? No, because they're pussies. And then she gets uh, the, the challenge accepted and she blocks them. And she's like, oh, I'm not doing that because, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, you, you charity only. And you're not able, you're not allowed to stream to your, your bigot fans. Um, but yeah, she's, uh, she's all bark, no bite, no real threat. She can't stop freedom of speech any more than those Star Wars shills could. Yeah, the, the Star will <laughs> trying to get YouTube to remove certain videos by like Jeremy and Gary and and all of them because, oh, they say mean things. Oh, they're criticizing characters in Star Wars. It's, uh. Um, these people don't, apparently don't understand what free speech is. Um. <laughs> this is sad. Legal documents aren't worded like this. <laughs> she despite the desperate and pathetic. Yeah. So it took her over six months to send a lawsuit your way. Yeah, because it happened March 30th, 2024. Did a 10-year-old write this? <laughs> I heard a rumor she blows homeless men. I mean, obviously he's not concerned, you know, and most people nowadays, they're, when it comes to people like this, we're like, oh, I'm going to sue you. You said mean things about me. You don't want people to think you're a phobe. It's just, just go ahead. What if I was to call your place of employment and your parents? I'll call my parents myself. Oh, you call up your parents. Hey, mom. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I'm a racist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I criticize a black character. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Disappointing. Sorry. But I mean, you're you're a thousand miles away, so I mean, really, not much you can do about it, right? Yeah. Okay. Love you too. Or um, <laughs> you call her up. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Dad. Can uh, can I talk to Mom? Yeah, yeah. Just just real fast. Hey, Mom. So uh, I was online and I called uh this person. Uh, you know, I said that she liked to suck dicks in her spare time. That, yeah, she does. I mean, that's why I said it. Yeah, well, I mean, she's she's threatening to sue me and all that. So, I mean, she also threatened to call you guys. And I just, I said I'd do it myself. Yeah, I know. I know, that's what I said. I told her to go suck a dick. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I just wanted you guys to know. Just wanted you to know. Uh, that uh, she she got mad over some words. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm sure you're you're slightly disappointed in me, but you don't really care enough. All right. Love you too. I mean, you just these people are gonna slowly learn, and 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 for the most part, of the community has kind of learned this, that calling others others names and stuff like that. Sorry, I saw something outside. Um, you know, before it used to work, this whole cancel culture thing, like, oh, we're just going to call your place of employment and say you're a phobe, is or isn't. It's like, who cares now? You know, people used to be afraid of that, but now it's like, well, you don't want people to think you're a Nazi. And as I've said before, they want to say that, you just, I'll fucking Hitler, bitch. Like, no one cares anymore. We're not, these people need to learn that the world doesn't revolve around them that the real world isn't nice they live in this safe little bubble surrounded by these people who just constantly yeah you're so stunning and brave and then when they meet a force that doesn't bow down to them they're like oh, <laughs> mean things you're a phobus or ism uh, oh we um and it just more and more people are realizing this, that the, the name calling phobes, is and isms, far right extremists, and I'm going to sue you. It, it just doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. It didn't work for those people who were complaining to you two about Jeremy and Gary and all, you know, whoever else. It's not going to matter here. In fact, she's more likely now to get the, uh, the short end of the stick and you know be humiliated people are just tired of it people are tired of people uh, others on this side thinking they have power because of how they identify or whatever the case is again she can dish it out but she can't take it instead she sits there with her group of mindless seals just <laughs> doing their best adam sessler Yes, go Alyssa. Um, but then when push comes to shove, she, you know, when confronted with real people who don't go along with everything she says, she she blocks them. She makes excuses of why she can't fight someone. It's like, bitch, you issued the fight here. You're the one who's like, fight me physically. No, because they're all pussies. But. Yeah, it, it's nice to see. It's nice to see people pushing back. It's nice to see this lawyer like, no, he's not apologizing because there's no need to apologize. Freedom of speech, bitch. Freedom of speech. Um, and again, I, it's like I said in my comment, I hope after this she's so humiliated that she just leaves the internet, you know, and continues working at Kotaku or whatever, but just stays off the internet because, I mean... <laughs> That'd be a huge humiliation for her. Making a spectacle and thinking, oh yeah, we're, this guy's going to get owned and all that. And then she's the one who gets screwed over. You know? But, um... <laughs> Basically, they told her to go suck a dick. You want to go suck a dick? But um, she just doesn't know when to be quiet. And uh, she really thought that this was going to go somewhere. 
And again, whoever wrote this, it's time you made the smart choice for once. Do the right thing. I don't see a professional doing that. I think this is some dude who's still, like, in school for this crap. But, I mean, it's got, apparently, got a... Actually, uh, let's see. Lane Haywood. Lane Haywood. I'm guessing it's it's Haywood. Let me let me look up this guy. Let me look him up. All right. So apparently this is him. Um, is this really Buff Pro? Has this man and Buff Pro ever been seen together in one place? I don't think so. Um. Odessa, Odessa, Texas, and, but, um, yeah, don't give in to these people anymore. They'll soon realize they don't have power over anyone, and, uh, instead they'll just kind of realize that the world is cruel. That the world isn't one giant safe space echo chamber that they think it is. You know, and then maybe they might grow up a little bit. Instead of, you need to ban these people. You need to remove their videos because they were criticizing characters, female characters in, in Star Wars. Or, oh, they, they said mean words to me. They said mean words. But... Anyway, it's going to end badly for her. It's going to end badly, and then we're going to see her. This is my final tweet because I'm leaving the internet. I can't handle all the pressure and criticism coming out towards me. All these hateful words and comments that I'm reading all the time. But I thought you were strong. I thought you were a badass bitch, right? You're the one who said, fight me physically. But you can't handle a little bit few comments online. But anyway, that's gonna do for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.